Hey there, welcome to my channel. Um, some of the best recipes start with browning up a pound of ground beef and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting it broken down into really fine pieces. I'm going to empty this out into a bowl and then I'm going to continue making my sauce in the same pan. And today is Wednesday, and it's also the first day that I have made dinner this week. So, if you've been here before, you know I usually do about five to six dinners a week. So this is a very strange week for me. But, we live in the real world here, and things get busy. This week we have just had a lot going on with the grandkids and their activities. And I didn't even bother to film what was for dinner. It was mostly fast food, which I'm not proud to say, but it doesn't happen very often. So, no guilt. Alright, the meat is out of the pan and the fat is drained off and I'm adding some olive oil. And I'm using some minced garlic. Next, I just added a can of crushed tomatoes and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. To add a little bit of a robust beefy flavor and get some onion flavor in there as well, I'm using a Lipton beefy onion soup mix. Just mix that in really good. I'm gonna have this turned down on low heat. Okay, that sauce has been simmering for a little while. Now we're going to assemble this casserole. I've seen this casserole called lazy lasagna or um, whatever, but it's ravioli. And I don't know, I feel like ravioli should get the uh, get honorable mention for being ravioli. <laughs> so we're doing a meat sauce. And the ravioli that I'm using are from Aldi and they are the cheese filled. So I'm just going to do rows on top of that first layer of sauce. Now, if I was following the recipe exactly, I don't know what the next step would be, but for me, I'm going to do a bit more of the sauce. beefy onion soup in it. All right, next I'm going to add some cheese. I'm just gonna 
do another layer of ravioli and continue layering until I have a big heaping dish or I run out of raviolis and ingredients. Whatever comes first. want to drizzle a little sauce on top of that top layer I saw um, saw this somewhere and they left the top layer of the ravioli uncovered and they got nice and toasty it's kind of what I want to happen here but I also don't want them to be dried out so we're just gonna kind of paint on a little bit of that sauce with our spoon Okay, I'm going to get ready to make a plate. Bill came through a little while ago and he sampled some of the um, extra sauce that was still, oh my goodness, look at that cheese, <laughs> and some of the sauce that was still in the pan that didn't go in the casserole and he said it was amazing. So he's really looking forward to coming back. He was just passing through. Yes, I do know that there is cheese inside those raviolis and there's cheese sprinkled throughout, but we're having cottage cheese on the side. I like a little black pepper on my cottage cheese. And I made some garlic bread. And then last, I'm just going to put some sprinkly cheese on top of that. And once again, this was just a simple solution to getting dinner done quick and easy. You know, like I said, it's Wednesday and I haven't been able to accomplish much as far as dinner lately. But this one sounded doable. All right, that's dinner for tonight. While those steaks are sizzling away on the stove, I'm just going to get some lettuce chopped up for some salads to go on the side. How big do you want your onion?
Okay, here is Thursday night dinner. Okay, it's Friday. And yeah, I keep counting back the days. Like, how is it Friday already? Where did this week go? I don't know, but it's Friday. <laughs> and I have just been in kind of panic mode because I don't feel like I got my fill of all the delicious casseroles. And it's going to be warm soon. And you know how it always goes. It's like, boom, it's summer. And in the summer, I don't turn on my oven. So I've been feeling like I need to make some foods that go in the oven because I will surely miss them pretty soon. So for an easy but comforting dinner tonight, I am making like a hash brown casserole, one dish, type of thing. So I've got some hash browns that have the peppers and onions in it, a can of cream of mushroom, and some sour cream. And I'm feeling like that's not going to be enough onions for us. And I just had some already cut up in my refrigerator. So I'm going to put that in. That's about a half of an onion. And I also want to add some garlic powder. A little bit of seasoned salt. We're going to do a bag of sharp cheddar. I'm going to do about half now. And then I'll do the other half on top. Next, I have this package of Frick's diced ham. Never heard of Frick's. Hope it's good. And because my family loves spicy sausage, I'm going to add this package of Andouille smoked sausage. All right, I got that sausage cut up into little bite-sized pieces. We're just going to dump that in there with the ham. We'll have two different meat flavors happening. And I'm also going to add a package of broccoli florets. And this is a 12 ounce package. And I'm using my big roasting pan because I knew that once I started mixing this all up, it's just going to grow and grow and grow. Just like a good casserole. By the time you're done, you can feed the whole neighborhood. <laughs> so those are big and chunky right now because they're frozen, but they will break up and Get smaller as we go. Yum, yum, yum. 
Okay, that is it for this week. I know it's not as many meals as I usually share, but we were just so busy and we had so many things to do outdoors. There just wasn't much time for cooking this week, but we should be back on track next time. Come back if you like the video and see what we're having for dinner around here at our house. Music